Mark. I'm very well, thank you. How are you, sir? Thank you. Um, now, can you tell us about the challenges that you face bringing this to the screen? I think there's a challenge bringing any stage adaptation to screen, particularly a musical, uh, and particularly a musical such as Into the Woods that has so many ardent fans who are love the source material so much. So the challenge is what choices do you make in that adaptation and how do you take something that's so beloved on stage and create a cinematic experience that is unique in its own way but faithful enough to the original. Uh, and can you tell us a bit about what the cast bring in terms of that and also uh, Rob Marshall as well. What, what does he bring to this project? Well Rob is unique in his ability to uh, adapt musicals. Musical films require a musicality, not just in the literal music, but in the entire rhythm and sensibility of the film. And that's an intuition, a musical intuition that Rob possesses given his history as a choreographer and a stage director. That and his love of actors, which every actor feels, and the kind of confidence he gives them allows a cast such as this to sing where they never have before and to perform so gloriously as they do in the film. Uh, and also the cast as well, uh, how, how, do they, how do you think they approach such a project and uh, how do they go about bringing something from the stage to the screen? Well, I don't know that all of them saw the stage production. I think many of them did, but not all of them. And I think when anyone tackles a character, you try and find and introduce your own elements and your own self into that character. And that's no different from this cast. I think some were more nervous than others to sing. But again, under Rob Marshall's direction, I think everybody developed such a confidence that they could sing, they could perform, and indeed they do. That's a bit bad. I mean, the project, uh, the, uh, the project stage production itself isn't that well known over here, but uh, it's quite huge in America, I understand. Can you tell us a bit about the relevance it has to the wider public there? It's not as huge as you would think. It is beloved in the theater world, much as it really is here in the West End and musical theater lovers. Where it has had a bit of an afterlife in the States is that many schools, high schools and universities and community theaters perform into the woods because it's fairy tale characters people are familiar with. But it's not a huge, huge brand name. I was able, the first day the film opened, which was Christmas Day in the States, the next morning I called Steve Sondheim and James Lapine, the original authors, and said to them, more people on this first day of the movie release saw Into the Woods than, de than did in its entire Broadway run, and it ran two times on Broadway. So it's reached far many more people already, which I hope it does here in the UK as well. And do you also hope that it will encourage more people to go back to the stage version as well as watching this version? I think that it undoubtedly will invite people to visit the stage production and hopefully invite people to visit other Stephen Sondheim musicals because he's such a great treasure in the musical theatre world and invite people who wouldn't otherwise like musicals to go explore other musicals as well. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!